Hey guys, this is Ty Force Reacts, and I'm back to react to Eden Zero, episode 18. Words will give you strength. So, yeah, back to Eden Zero, I suppose, um, after taking a bit of a break from it before, you know, go going back to One Piece and the Naruto Shippuden, and Naruto Shippuden wrote a ninja movie, just, it, it's been, it's been a bit since I've watched Eden Zero, not for you guys, but it has for me, so, yeah, um, forgive me if I get some things wrong in the recap, or if I ever get some things, hopefully the clip before the, the opening will, will at least, you know, jog my memory, at least hopefully, so, yeah, let's just, uh, Jump right in, and I'll recap it in the opening. So we'll start the whole thing up in three, two, one, play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The actress is having a blast. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Yeah, see, there we go. That's the payment. Right, yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. Okay, but yeah, um, I believe last time it was just kind of like, um, catching up with Hermit and, you know, seeing you know, kind of messing around the Eden Zero for a bit before they realize, okay, now's the time to start looking for Valkyrie, the other, the last of the stars they gotta collect for, like, you know, the Eden Zero to be at full power, really. So, yeah, there's Witch, um, there's, there's Witch, Sister, Hermit, and Valkyrie, and, and Valkyrie's the one who trained, um, Hamara, so, so, so this is kind of a, a, a double thing for Hamara. So, yeah, then, um, so then we got, um, so, so we went to, like, Zhao Mei, who has been our narrator up until this point, and, but now she's an actual character in the series. She's a time oracle who knows pretty much everything, except, of course, the outcome of a battle, as you, as, as they explained here. So, yeah, she, she gets off on not knowing where, who's gonna, who's gonna win, so, yeah, <laughs> and that's pretty much her payment for, like, tell, telling them where to find Valkyrie, so, yeah, so, yeah, this is gonna be fun, it's a very short arc here, but, like, it's the lead up into, like, the, the arc, you know, to find Valkyrie, and, you know, that whole arc is, it's, 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 its own level of trauma, <laughs> Mm. Okay, then.
At least the... Oof. At least the guy's a good sport, I suppose. <laughs> Just the way he's... <laughs> And there we go. <laughs> mm. Oh, they. Mm, yeah, it, it, yeah. Just dropping a tad bit of lore there. Just, just, you know, foreshadowing, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think. I mean, that, that, I don't think they'll have a problem with that. Hmm. There we go. There we go. She's got to have her guns. Yeah, that's fair. Eh. Hmm. There we go. Oh, yeah, okay. His Yeah, his boxing gloves are also guns. Oh great, of course. This this is this is Hiro Mashima after all. Hmm. I, I nearly forgot about that frog. Thank you for reminding me, Rebecca. See, there we go. Mm. Yay. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Just get a bit ahead of, ahead of yourself, Xiao Mei.
All right, then. All right, Weiss, what you got? Oh, boy. Poor Pino. Yeah, there we go. Y you nearly you nearly forget that's what she can do. <laughs> that was her main purpose for being built. <laughs> He's going oh, no, 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 no. There we go. If you're thinking, man, this was man, this was really easy. <laughs> oh, just wait till you see the fourth opponent. Mm-hmm. Oh, would you look at that? It's Valkyrie. This suddenly just, this suddenly got very, very interesting. Ah. Right, it's not the real Valkyrie, but still, it's still Valkyrie at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Man, they Man, Hopper's voice actress is really go really going at it. Oof. Hmm. Hmm. Oof. Right, yeah, you can't you can't fight like you regularly do, Amara. Mm. 
Mm. Ah, great. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. There we go. That that's the title of the episode. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Now they can get the information. Hmm. Oh. Right, yeah. They're just... And back to the stars they go. All right. There we go. Hmm. Right. Yeah, Sun Jewel. The Sun Jewel arc. This is a Yeah, like I said, this is going to be a whole whole other level of trauma. Maybe not quite on the level of what Hermit went through. It's going to be pretty hard to top that. But Still.
Mm. Mm. There we go. Not quite as epic as, you know, the One Piece is real, but, you know, it's still. Ah, right, yeah. Hmm. Of of course, Happy wants a lot of fish. That some things are multiversal. Hmm. Yeah. That. I I don't think that happens, actually. <laughs> in fact, I think season two is going to go in pretty in-depth on that. There we go. And back to narrator we go. All right. Okay, that, that was great. But yeah, so... Man, I love Eden Zero. It's so great. But, um, yeah, if, if anything, like, um, it comes to Eden Zero versus Fairy Tale, while I think I, um, like, personally, I prefer Fairy Tale, but objectively, I think Eden Zero is just the better story overall, simply because of how in depth it can go. Like, um, not like One Piece level thing, but it, there's a reason I call it One Piece in Space. And, because it's just that good. Eden Zero is just that good. But yeah, so anyway, next time I'm going to react to episode 19 from the Planet of Eternity. So yeah, I got nothing else to say, so I'm just going to end the video here. So yeah, till next time, guys. See ya.